guarantee you, whoever wins New Hampshire, South Carolina will look very different that next morning than it does today. Well, let's go to Alberto Gonzalez. He'll give you a flavor of it. This is an exchange that he had with New York Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer about why he went to a hospital room when he was counsel of the president to talk to the attorney general. Let's watch. Did the president ask you to go? We were there on behalf of the President of the United States. I didn't ask you that. Did I'm the President Senator, ask you to go? Senator, we're there on behalf of the President of the United States. Why can't you answer that question? That's the answer that I can give you, to, Senator. Well, can you explain to me why you can't answer it directly? Senator, uh, again, we were there on, a, on an important program for this President on behalf of the President of the United States. Oh, boy. That, that's the way it went all uh, during that hearing. What's at stake here? It's a question that uh, the Attorney General answered in February about the eavesdropping, wiretapping without warrants plan for the President, the anti-terrorism plan as he describes it. This is what the Attorney General said in February. There's not been any serious disagreement about the, the program that the President has confirmed. There was disagreement within the uh, Attorney General's office and within the Department of Justice. And so when asked why he had said what he said in February, this was the Attorney General's response this week. The disagreement that occurred and the reason for the visit to the hospital center was, was about other intelligence activities. It was not about the terrorist surveillance program that the President announced to the American people. The FBI director, who was also at that hospital meeting, had a different recollection. This is what he said before the House. The discussion was on a national uh, a uh, NSA program that has been much discussed, yes. The Senate now is considering perjury against the Attorney General of the United States, Dan Balls. Uh, extraordinarily so, yes. Uh, but he is in a, a completely isolated position at this point. Um, all of the other testimony suggests that he is telling a story that is different from what everyone else's recollection is. Uh, I don't know how you square that circle. And he's got one supporter, and that is George W. Bush. This is remarkable in that every leak you're getting out of the White House shows that no one in the White House wants this to continue. This is really hurting the president. It's hurting the White House because you've got an attorney general who not only doesn't have credibility, he doesn't seem to be terribly smart about the way he's handled this whole thing. And Patrick Leahy, the judiciary chairman, has said, we're sending the testimony. We strongly urge you to reconsider it. He's basically giving him the perjury warning that you can change your testimony, you've got one week to do it. And if he doesn't come back and have a new recollection, uh, I think he's in serious trouble. Well, remember, this, this hearing, um, uh, this past week, was in effect an open book test. They let him have the questions <laughs> beforehand. They told him what they were going to ask him. And he still uh, manages to, to, to mangle the whole thing. It seems fairly clear that he is trying to, to, to parse something much more finely than it can be parsed by saying not part of the program as announced by the president. Uh, you know, it, it was a story in the New York Times this morning, um, I, I don't know if we've checked it out, but it says that, well, it was an aspect of the terrorist surveillance program that was not announced by the president later. But so there was a disagreement this, about it. Of course, of course, of course right. there was. Just, and then well, as, as Gene suggested, you square the circle by saying that Mueller was talking about data mining and the uh, 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 Gonzalez was being asked about uh, wiretap. The problem is that it's simply the impression that he leaves is of somebody who isn't straight with the Congress, who isn't terribly confident, who doesn't have the confidence of anybody in this job. I can understand why the uh, uh, Democrats are pushing this. They're bleeding the administration politically on this. And why Gonzalez, who seems to think that he's been wrong, uh, will stay there and Bush uh, knows that, um, uh, knows, knows that uh, confirmation of the success will be dif difficult. But Gonzalez is taking so much punishment. I wonder how he gets up in the morning and keeps going to the office every day. You know, take a step back. Or sleeps at night. This, at this point, is more about President Bush, I think, than it is about the Attorney General. The President has decided, and I think that the White House is comfortable with a strategy of confrontation on most fronts with the Democratic Congress, thinking that the conflict is driving down the approval rating for Congress. This week, the House and Senate are both going to vote on expanding health care for uh, working poor children or uninsured, and the President is threatening to veto that. Uh, you know, we had the executive privilege fight. There's a broad range of conflicts brewing, and I think the White House feels that they are baiting Democrats 
into a sustained series of arguments that are bringing them down to a level in approval that is even lower than the president's. Now, whether that matters more than his low approval rating next year is another question, but I think the White House is very comfortable engineering conflicts across a broad range. Chuck, the politics of Gonzalez. I just think it's remarkable about Gonzalez is that he's, he seems to be, at this point, more loyal to Bush than Bush is to him because of what you just said. I mean, I think that the White House must be glad that he's taken all the arrows right now, and he is sort of almost distracting Congress to just go after him. How any, I don't think any other human being could take this kind of punishment and stay in the job, and I think a lot of folks probably in the Bush administration would just assume this guy would just resign. If you talk and to the senators, not. Democrats are more interested in having him stay Right. Republican. It's Four like a pinata. Right. 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 They bring him back, and he is a terrible. I mean, he's terrible at this. I mean, he's he reliably so. He is not a very good. I mean, but been Ron a good has a point here lawyer, but that the latest but, polling does show that Democrats in the House and Senate are so in held in such disregard. There was a poll the other day that said for the first time that 71 percent of those questioned didn't like their local congressman. That even when Congress was notoriously uh, unpopular. You always liked your local congressman. There's something going on here and that this congress that came in in November of 06 has already lost so much support. I think people are really fed up I with what's going on has, in Washington. I think a lot of that has to do with Iran uh, and, the, and the failure of this congress to change the president's policy. Not easy to do obviously but people believe they voted for a Democratic Congress. If that would bring change, it hasn't happened. We're out of time. John Harwood, Chuck Todd, Dean Robinson, Ron Brown. I think we solved just about yeah. everything. We're going to continue our discussion with this extraordinary group on the Internet. And how has the Internet changed covering campaigns? Our Meet the Press Take Two Web Extra on our website this afternoon at mtp.msnbc.com. We'll be right back. Let's go to Alberto Gonzalez. To give you a flavor of it, this is an exchange that he had with New York Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer about why he went to a hospital room when he was counsel of the president to talk to the attorney general. Let's watch. Did the president ask you to go? We were there on behalf of the president of the United States. I didn't ask you that. Did I'm the president Senator, ask you to go? Senator, we're there on behalf of the president of the United States. Why can't you answer that question? That's the answer that I can give you, to, Senator. Well, can you explain to me why you can't answer it directly? Senator, uh, again, we were there on, a, on an important program for this president on behalf of the President of the United States. Oh, boy. That, that's the way it went all uh, during that hearing. What's at stake here? It's a question that uh, the Attorney General answered in February about the eavesdropping, wiretapping, without warrants plan for the president, the anti-terrorism plan, as he described it. This is what the Attorney General said in February. There's not been any serious disagreement about the the program that the president has confirmed. There was disagreement within the uh, attorney general's office and within the Department of Justice. And so when asked why he had said what he said in February, this was the attorney general's response this week. The disagreement that occurred and the reason for the visit to the hospital center was, was about other intelligence activities. It was not about the terrorist surveillance program that the president announced to the American people. The discussion was on a national uh, a, uh, NSA program that has been much discussed, yes. The disagreement that occurred and the reason for the visit to the hospital center was, was about other intelligence activities. It was not about the terrorist surveillance program that the president announced to the American people. The discussion was on a national uh, a uh, NSA program that has been much discussed, yes. The disagreement that occurred and the reason for the visit to the hospital center was, was about other intelligence activities. It was not about the terrorist surveillance program that the president announced to the American people. The discussion was on a national uh, a, uh, NSA program that has been much discussed, yes. The disagreement that occurred and the reason for the visit to the hospital center was, was about other intelligence activities. It was not about the terrorist surveillance program that the president announced to the American people. The FBI director, who was also at that hospital meeting, had a different recollection. This is what he said before the House. 
the discussion was on a national uh, a uh, NSA program that has been much discussed, yes. The Senate now is considering perjury against the Attorney General of the United States, Dan Balls. Uh, extraordinarily so, yes. Uh, but he is in a, a completely isolated position at this point. Um, all of the other testimony suggests that he is telling a story that is different from what everyone else's recollection is.